All right, guys, welcome back. Another Sweet Science with Streets. Today, we have our good friend, Matty Parks, again. He's going to be smashing up the pads, former world Muay Thai champion. Got my tongue tied right there. Circulate Fitness is his gym. Please make sure you come down and check it out. All right, guys, so today, we're going to be going over another defense, which is the bob and weave, or the roll, or whatever you want to call it. You are going to be moving your head in a U shape. So, just like we did with the slip, with the roll, we can go one of two ways. What's very important is knowing when to do which, because often people get them muddled up. So, let's act out what happens. If Matty were to hit me with his right hand and he hits me on the chin and it's a good connection, I call this a soft ending because my head is physically going to move. If he cracks me on the chin, my head is not going to stay there, it's going to move. What that means is it's going to be very hard for me to swing this hand at him, but what I might do is swing this hand wildly. So what that means is, generally speaking, if Matty throws his right hand, he's going to roll to the right and counter with his right, okay? Or if we were to initiate, if I were to start the shot, if I were to throw a left hook, Maddie would generally speaking want to go that way and counter back with his right hand, okay? Because if I'm swinging this way and he's rolling that way, it doesn't really make too much sense. He wants to get a better position. Where is he? Boom, and I walk onto that punch, okay? So that's when things go according to plan off that left hook, okay? What we can also do is give them a little hit on the way through. So while Maddie is bobbing this way, he can do a little sidestep and hook me in the body. So if I initiate and I throw a left hook, Maddie can dig me with that shot and then hit me. So we can make them miss and then make them pay, or we can make them miss and pay at the exact same time. So that one was, as I'm throwing the hook, oh, I ate that shot, and we go back up to the head. Or if Maddie initiates, he throws his right hand, then he hooks to the body, and then he throws that right hand again. The only time it'll be any different is if we go to the body. Okay, we've got some background entertainment going on. <laughs> so if we go to the body, that's not gonna be soft ending, because I'm a fat fucker. So if Maddie hits my body, I'm not gonna explode. I'm gonna stay here and Maddie's more likely to bounce a little bit off that shot. So when he hits me in the body, we call this a hit, rip, and roll. Because it's like if you hit a heavy bag. If you hit the top, it swings. If you hit the bottom, you're more likely to bounce off it. So if he's going to my body, he needs to be aware that I'm probably gonna counter back with that hand instead. Whereas when we went to the head, we went with the shot, we throw right, we roll right, we hit right. When we go to the body, we hit right, we retract, and we end up rolling left, and then we can counter back with our left hand. Or we can go to the body, retract, go to the body, boom. Or we can hit, we can retract, and if we want, we can go for an uppercut, lovely. Whatever we want, we throw right, we end up punching them left if we go to the body. Now, obviously, we've got two hands. Let's do the other side, which is probably better. No, we can do it from this side. All right, so now I'm going to be swinging my right hook at Matty. If I swing this, he wants to go that way, and he's going to counter back with his front hand. So he rolls towards the left, he counters back with his left hand. And the punch doesn't matter, he could roll and go to my body whatever, that's interchangeable. What's important is he's rolling to the left, he's hitting with his left. The second stage was to hit them at the exact same time. So while Maddie's rolling to his left, he's gonna dig a right hook into my gut and he can hit me back with that left hand, beautiful. Or he can roll, he can go to my body. Whatever the shot you throw after, important thing, he's rolling to the left, he's hitting me at the exact same time. I should stress that if you'll notice, when Maddie does his hook, he's doing a body hook. He's not doing a body rip. Because if you're rolling and doing a body rip, what tends to happen is you separate your chin from your shoulder and you leave yourself open to counters. Where, whereas when Maddie's doing it, he's doing the hook, you'll notice that I can't really hit him. It's very easy for him to get his hand back and counter back with whatever shot he wants. So that's a very important thing. If you're gonna hit them while you're rolling, use a hook. If you're gonna roll and then hit them, you can go with a body rip. So, what I mean by that is, if I swing my right hook, Maddie hits me while I'm hooking, it's gonna be a hook. 
If we do the exact same thing, Matty doesn't hit me this time. He rolls all the way under. Now we'd use a body rip, okay? So if you're doing it at the same time, use a hook. If you finish the shot, use that body rip with the angle, okay? The last one is that hit, rip, and roll this way. So if he hits me with a left body shot, he retracts his hand, he's gonna roll this way, and he's gonna hit me with the right hand. Hit left, roll towards the right, counter with the right. Or he can go with that body shot. Hit, rip, and roll, counter back with a hook. Or he can hit, rip, and roll, counter back with an uppercut. Or he can hit, rip, and roll, counter back with a straight right hand. The counter doesn't matter. What does matter is knowing if it's the body, if you feel any, any force whatsoever, retract and go the opposite way. The amount of people that try and force the issue, they hit the body and they think, no, I want to go this way and they end up getting tagged. Just know you're going to bounce off them. That's fine. You go the other way. If you hit their chin and you go with them, you roll that way. Develop a sensitivity and it'll help your roll game a lot. We want to use the roll when someone's throwing a hook because we don't want to be slipping. If Maddie's slipping while I'm throwing a hook, he's going straight into the shot. <laughs> so he's slipping this way and I'm throwing a hook, boom, we end up like that. That's not what we want. I'm throwing a circle, he uses a circle in the opposite way, and I'm the one who's in trouble. That's the name of the game. Hit and don't get hit. That's basically the role, guys. Maddie, anything you want to add? Uh, just, just about, you know, when you're obviously choosing your shot. Yes. Let's say, say, when I'm rolling, it's yep. distinguishing what part of his open, whether I'm going to throw an uppercut, a body shot. Exactly. Course, whatever it is, I've got to make sure my eyes are checking. Because I always find people tend to look down when they roll. That's a great thing. The really common mistake, just like Maddie said, is knowing how the roll works. So if we're facing the camera, you'll notice when we roll, it's basically a slip and a U-shape in the other direction. And Maddie's eyes stay forward while he's doing the roll. He's always in that condescending librarian position with his eyes looking over, which is what you want, chin tucked down. What it's not is bending forward because then you can't see what's going on. You're gonna eat uppercuts. They're gonna control your head. It's very hard to get out of a bad situation. It's much easier to try and not be in that bad situation at all. So with that roll, remember, twist, U-shape, and use your legs. When you see, watch Tyson when he does it, and he's basically like doing these little squats with those huge legs that he's got. That's a picture perfect roll. That's a great point. And most people, when they start, first thing they're doing is looking at the floor. Don't be that person. Chin, eyes up, chins down, and use your legs, hips, and shoulders as the important thing is in boxing. That's great, man. Thank you very much. See you guys soon.